Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I'm a Saint Beauty artist and a DIY lash enthusiast. And I just recently became a brand ambassador for a brand, an athleisure brand called Savvy. So they are less than two years old. It is a super cool company. Um, that is what I'm wearing today. I have this little smock thing and then this cute, really cute, super cute sports bra. So I'm gonna do a whole haul on that. I'll put everything below. But you're not clicking on this video because of that. You're clicking on this video to see my product empties. So I really, really like these videos because to me, somebody can do monthly favorites and usually you don't use up products in a month and it's really hard to tell like, okay, if you use it for three months, is it really worth it? That sort of thing. So I really like these because I feel like these are products that have been used for more than one month and I feel like I can really give a recommendation of whether or not who I'd recommend it for if I'm going to be repurchasing it, that sort of thing. So it's not just like a fly by the night, oh yeah, it's my favorite. It's these are products that I've consistently used and this is my, you know, kind of final thoughts on it. So I have it in basically two different categories. I have hair care and then I have skincare. I have one maybe one makeup product, I don't know, but I'm gonna do hair hair first and then skincare second. So if you watched any of my videos, you can see, oh my gosh, I got the door open, I've got all this stuff. This is real life right here. Apologize if that annoys the crap out of you, but my house is messy and it is what it is. We're just gonna go with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing is uh, the Monet Volumizing Revi Shampoo and the Volumizing Revitalized Conditioner. So I've been using Monet on and off for several years now. Um, I've done several videos on it, so I don't wanna go into full you know, review mode. I'll put my last one down here, but I have been using it. I was a VIP probably about a year ago and then went back to Living Proof and then was like, you know what? I loved my hair on uh, Monet. So I think that's how you say it. I say Monet, some people say Monet. I don't even know, I call it say Monet. But anyways, I really, really like it. I went ahead and became a VIP member again. And um, I just really like these. These have helped me not only to volumize my hair. Now, in full transparency, this is freshly washed hair. And I never have a lot of volume in my hair the first day. Usually the second day I get a little bit more grittiness into it and it's a little bit better. And I don't have fabulous hair. I know for whatever reason, every time I talk about my hair, I always have people in the comments being like, why would we listen to you? You don't have fabulous hair. Yes, I understand that. But I have very, very fine hair. I have very, very, um, I have a lot of hair, but it's very ba uh, baby fine. And so if you have similar hair, then I definitely recommend you try these out. I'm going to be trying, I can't remember what other ones they are. There's some in the line that are extension friendly. And I do have two rows of extension in, in here. You can see my real hair is there and this is the extension part of it. Um, so it's almost the same length. I am going to be getting a new set because these are starting to get a little ratty at the ends. I've had them for a while, but I really, really recommend these not only for volumizing, but also if you're somebody who's trying not to wash your hair every day, I have a very greasy scalp. And what I learned was your scalp is greasy when you have a dry scalp and your scalp is trying to over oil. So I actually have a dry scalp even though I have a greasy scalp or it produces a lot of oil. So it's kind of confusing. It's almost like an oxymoron. I have been trying to train my hair to go between washes. I'm now four days, like I wash my hair and then four days later I'll wash it again. And I think a lot of it has to do with this product, these products here. I feel like my hair is cleaner for longer and has done a better job of kind of stabilizing my scalp, if you will. So if you're looking to either volumize your hair and or extend your washes, I definitely recommend this. And I know that they had a whole bunch of people, like apparently lawsuits about people, you know, their hair falling out. I've never had an issue. My hair has always been really, really nice on these products or they it felt really nice. I haven't noticed any damage to my hair or any falling out and hey, I mean, that could happen with regular shampoo as well. So it is what it is. So next product is the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. So I love this stuff. I think it really did a really a good job of giving that blowout look. I did feel like my dry time, as far as blow drying my hair, did reduce or get reduced. 
But the problem I had was when I purchased it, for whatever reason, I thought there was also like heat protectant in it. And when I look at the bottle, it doesn't say anything about heat protecting. Well, I guess it says blow up when you blow out with a no weight network of heat safe high volume. So I guess that maybe it is heat protecting. It doesn't like clearly say that yes, it is here heat protecting. Um, so even though I like this product, there's another product, this one. This is the Eva, Eva, I, I say Eva, NYC. This um, is Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. So this is supposed to strengthen, heat protect, reduce frizz, detangle, soften, cuts drying time, add shine, nourishes, smooths, and UV protection. Um, and it does everything. It's got argan oil, sunflower seed oil, it's cruelty, GMO free, and 100% vegan, and it's uh, free of parabens, blah, 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 and mineral oil, all this other stuff. So to me, I feel like this is like a 10 in one. So if you are a lazy girl like me when it comes to your hair and you don't wanna spend a lot of time doing it, then I would rather purchase this one because it does pretty much everything that I need in one product. Um, instead of this one where it's maybe one or two things, I didn't see feel like it um, reduced or added shine. I don't feel like it reduced my frizz. I don't feel like it detangled. Um, I don't feel like it nourished or smooth. It just cut my drying time down and it did give a pretty blowout, but I feel like this one is a lot better. So I will be repurchasing, repurchasing this one. I will not be repurchasing this one. So the last hair product is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening um, Dry Spin Texture Spray. So I absolutely love getting the travel sizes. To me, they're like sample sizes, even though by unit or by ounce, you're getting less, it's more expensive to purchase it this way, but I'd rather get, you know, spend $10 for a small thing than like $30 for a big thing and realize I don't like it. Yes, I know you can return it, but I'm really bad at returning stuff, so I'd rather just do this. Um, but I really like this. I am trying hard not to do dry shampoo because I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot of buildup around, especially around my extensions and just on my hair, and I feel like when I'm scratching my scalp, it's just, it's just nasty. I just did an exfoliating scrub and it seemed like it really helped, but I'm trying not to use dry shampoo as much, especially with trying to, you know, yes, it's helpful to kind of elongate between washes, but I feel like it, it can also like have a lot of buildup. So I like this because I felt like it volumized and especially, and I didn't use it today because I literally don't have anything um, left and I need to get some, but it's supposed to create instant volume and holds airy texture and holds airy texture all day. Um, with my first day hair, I feel like it's so baby fine, it's so clean that there's no volume, there's nothing, it just kind of is, is straight and it's there. So I like to do this to add a little bit of grittiness and I did feel like it volumized as well. So I will be picking up another one of these. I really, really liked it, um, yeah and I recommend it. So going into skincare, the first skincare product I have is the First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. So this is the first bottle I used. I just purchased the second bottle. I'm on my second bottle right now. I really, really like this brand. I, if you guys have followed me, you know that I'm an ex Mary Kay consultant. I do use a lot of Mary Kay skincare and I think their skincare is fabulous but I used their toner and I did not like it. I felt like it stripped my skin. I started having little bumps. Um, I went back to this one because I feel like it really nourishes my skin. It says it's supposed to soothe and nourish, alcohol-free and safe for sensitive skin. As soon as I get out of the shower, I do take hot showers. That is just me, that is just what I like. But when I get out, I feel like my skin is red but then also it feels like the water like we have very hard water here in texas and i feel like my face even if i don't use any soap feels a little bit stripped and i really really like this because i put it on as soon as i get out of the shower i just throw it on i do not use a cotton pad because you end up wasting more product than than you need but i put it a little bit in my palm of my hand and i take it like this and i just press it into my skin and immediately i feel like it soothes my skin i feel like it nourishes my skin and especially if you're somebody who has sensitive skin like you're prone to redness um, and or dry skin i feel like it has helped with my dry skin as well when i switched over to the mary Kay one and i stopped using this one because i used it all up I noticed that my skin felt drier and it didn't feel like it looked redder and redder. It looked more red. Um, 
and it just didn't feel as good. So I really, really like this one and I really, really like this line. Maybe I'll do a First Aid Beauty line, or video of all the First Aid Beauty products that I have because I'm slowly starting to incorporate more and more into um, my skincare routine because I really, really like this brand. And I even have my 12 year old daughter use it because I feel like their brand is just very, it's safer, you know, a lot of it is formulated for sensitive skin. And I feel like they, I don't know, it's just a good brand. So I was trying to go in order and then realized I forgot this one, but this is the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm. I have the Big Jumbo one and then the Travel Size, both of them are done. Um, they do have one that's in between these. The Jumbo Size, you get the you know bis biggest bang for your buck is, more expensive but you get more product and then the travel size is obviously less product more expensive by volume but i like these because um i do use this for traveling it's perfect for traveling and i used it all up because i was like oh gosh it's it's gone so i'll just go ahead and use it up and whatever it is not an affordable product this is definitely high-end skincare colleen rothschild uh is from here texas i believe she's in austin she has really really nice skincare and this is by far my favorite thing that she has um it smells like a spa like it smells clean and refreshing not cucumbery but I don't know what it smells like, but it smells like a very high-end spa. And when you are putting it all over your face, it feels amazing. It kind of breaks down. When you put it on, I kind of go like this, and then I bring it into my skin, and it starts like heating up with the warmth of your skin and turns all oily and everything. And it feels absolutely amazing on my skin. What I like about it is I feel like it doesn't strip it. It does a really good job of taking off my makeup. It doesn't do 100%, it's not the best deep cleaning, but what I do is double cleansing. So I will use this, I will usually use like a mus muslin, is that how you say it, muslin cloth? It's kind of like gritty feeling because I feel like it does a little bit of exfoliating but it doesn't like super exfoliate but I will do a you know muslin cloth under warm water that way it starts breaking up the oil I'll take all my skin the oil off and then I will go in with a Mary Kay micellar water and I will take that on a cotton pad and wipe it all over my face and it gets that oily like the rest of the product off but I feel like those two products combined not only take off my makeup they deep clean into my pores but they also don't strip my face. And that's a big thing with me with dry skin. I feel like if you have dry skin, this is absolutely amazing because it's not gonna strip your face. It's not going to make you have that tight feeling. Really, really like it. So highly recommend this. Definitely need to pick up another one. So next is the Mary Kay. This is the TimeWise Repair Day Cream. This does have SPF 30 in it. I have talked so much about my Mary Kay um, or the Mary Kay line. Even though I am no longer selling the products, I still use it and I still recommend it because honestly and truly the TimeWise Repair line, the day cream and the night cream are golden. Um, absolutely love them. I have seen a difference positive difference in my skin since I've been using them and I recommend them to everybody will, that will listen. What I like about this, I do like this pump mechanism. You can wipe it down and, and cleanse it if this like freaks you out, but you just pump it down, a little bit squirts up. You can do a little bit, you could do a whole pump. It really is like a smart mechanism so you don't waste product, but I really like it. It has the SPF and I just noticed that my skin is different. I love it. And now I can't speak too much to oily skin. I think if you have oily skin, you can 100% use this. But even with my dry skin, I feel like it is such a great product. It goes onto my skin, it moisturizes, but it doesn't combat against my foundation. I don't feel like I have to sit there and let it sit, soak in for a long time before I put on my foundation, my cream products. I feel like it sinks in my skin relatively quickly and I can go right in with my other skincare and or um, it actually it's this and then my primer and then my makeup. So I don't feel like it breaks up my makeup or anything like that. I really, really like it. And as you get older, this helps you kind of turn back the hands of time and I can't say enough good things about it. So the next thing is the Dermalogica Fit or Neck Fit Contour Serum. So I did a whole video on this. I will link it down below. So if you want to hear more in depth, then definitely check that out. Um, to me, short story is I feel like it worked, but it's not going to, like I used it for my necklines. I have very, very deep necklines. I have had them since I was in my early 20s. So it's not necessarily aging, it's just genetics. But 
I felt like it did a really good job of tightening my neck up. I did see a little bit of softening in the necklines, but it wasn't super drastic. I have to do something drastic to these. I mean, they're just too far gone. So if you have very little necklines, if you're starting to see necklines or you haven't gotten them yet, I think this is a good like, I think if they're very, very faint, you it will smooth them out where you won't see them anymore. Or if you're trying to prevent them, I think this is a good product. Um, I did notice that the biggest thing that I noticed was I started getting like this crepiness here where I could feel like the skin was starting to sag and get loose. And when I was using this consistently, I felt like it really did tighten it up. Now I am using a different one and I'll be honest with you, this one works so much better. But if you're looking for something that tightens, um, I think this is 100%, this is a, a golden product. I talked to other people that have tried this and they raved about it too. Um, but it's one of those products you have to consistently use. It's not going to, like gravity is still going to happen. Your skin is still going to lose elasticity. So you're going to have to use it basically for the end of time um, in order for it to consistently work. So it is not an affordable product. I think it's $75, which is not cheap, but it did last me about three months. So I feel like it's pretty good, but don't look at this thinking, judging it. It's been about a month since I've used this up, but I did feel like it did help with the tightening. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely try this. The next product is the Ordinary 100% Plant Derived Squalene, I think is what it's called. Um, I'll put everything down below, but I absolutely love this stuff. The Ordinary, as you probably know, is a very, very affordable brand. I feel like a lot of their stuff is high quality. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. But what I like about this is I was reading all over the place that this is really good for dry skin. So after I go in with my nighttime moisturizer, which is the TimeWise Repair nighttime uh, cream with retinol, I will put it all over my skin and then I will add maybe a little bit like, I don't know, a little couple drops or whatever. I'll rub it in and then I'll rub it into my skin. I should say that. I use a crap ton of it. Um, because I want that oil all over my skin. And then what I will do is I will go in with this one right here. This is the Dr. Jar Ceramidin. Again, I will link everything below. But this is a moisture retention shield. So I feel like I have all my skincare products. I go in with this. I put the oily residue all over the place and then I lock it in with this. And the next morning when I wake up, I it's not as, I could feel like some of the product or most of the product has absorbed my skin, but I can still feel it on it. We do sleep with the fan on and I feel like that whipping of the air sometimes does dry out my skin. I sleep with a humidifier right next to me. So I'm trying to humidify the air as much as possible, but I feel like these two have really been a game changer for my skin. And I feel like my skincare regimen is the best that it's ever been. My skin still is dry. I still get flakiness here and there, but I feel like overall, I'm very, very happy with my skincare or my skin the way it is and my skincare regimen. And I think that these two products are standout products. I purchased both of these. They are sitting up on my vanity and I use them every single night. Highly recommend if you have dry skin. So the last product is the Mary Kay Hydra Gel Patches. So I love these. Um, they do have little sample sizes that I take when I'm traveling and it's in a little um, like little pouch or whatever. And I love it when I'm at the hotel, I slap them on or the next morning while I'm like watching the news because I never watch the news unless I'm in a hotel room. But I love them for traveling. But you see here, they're completely gone. What I liked about these, I mean, I did notice as soon, like I used them this morning, the last one this morning, I do feel it does depuff your eyes. I woke up this morning and my allergies were just a little bit crazy. So I put them on, they do feel really good. And they have this pink, they're pink with the little sparkles in it, which is super cute. I know that's, it doesn't matter, but I've seen so many under eye things and they're just kind of like clear and it's like wonk wonk. And to me, I feel like this product works. It does help with the puffiness. I feel like afterwards, my under eye feels really, really soft and sub, sub, spiral, whatever. I can't even think of it. But I noticed the difference and I just like that it's pink and it's sparkly. So if you're gonna do skincare, might as well have it cute. So that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you tried any of these products, if you would recommend them to anybody else. If there's any other recommendations as far as skincare, especially for dry skin that you would recommend that you find that is working, please leave those in the comments below. I would love, love, love to try them out. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, bye.